Jones K. Tells Rafini, starring The Knack, Hotlinks from Cheap Trick, Pat Benatar, and Pretenders. Music from Joe Jackson, Nick Lowe, and Gary Newman. Rock superstars, Blondie. Rock 80, a killer cut after cut from KTEL. Available at these and other fine stores. Announcing Kellogg's Instant Win Ball Game. Where are the prizes? 100,000 Wilson balls. All kinds of balls. Basketball. Soccer ball. How do we play? Deal off the game card in specially marked Kellogg's packages or write for a free game card. A winner in every 600 card. All right. Catch, Tony. Interference. Who made you referee? Look at my stripes. Look for these specially marked packages in Kellogg's Instant Win Ball Game. Saturday mornings, it's all new cartoons and all new adventures. Beginning with Thundar the Barbarian, in action-packed excitement that pits him against the forces of evil. Then meet Heathcliff, the cleverest cat in town with the biggest record for trouble. Oops. Followed by Dingbat and his crazy old pal. Sounds good to me. And the wonderfully elastic, incredibly fantastic Plastic Man and Baby Plaids stretch into an all-new Saturday here on ABC. Saturday mornings. Who's the sassiest, brassiest, classiest cat? He's clear! Who's got charm? Who's got warmth? Who's got style? You can bet he'll never get caught in the dog catcher's net. Light on his feet, a whiz of disguise, who'll steal a mackerel right under your eye. Heathcliff! Here come his friends, a trio of creeps. Dingbat, the vampire dog, Sheriff the skeleton, and that jack-o'-lantern of all trades, nobody. It's the Heathcliff and Dingbat Show. Play some pool? Who, me? It's Bank Shot, an electronic pool game. You can queue up and shoot. For a break. Wow! You can plan cushion shots. It went in! Right. With Bank Shot, you can play straight pool, poison pool, and set up trick shots. Tricky! Want to play some pool? Six Penlight batteries not included. Bank Shot, an electronic pool game new from Parker Brothers. Oh, I'll beat you again, Mom. One more time. This is Split Second, a computerized game that's a race against time. Let me have a shot at it. It can be fun for the whole family. Split Second is five games in one. So when you've got a winner... You never beat me in that one before. You can move on to a completely different game. After each game, Split Second flashes your time right to an instant. Six ten light batteries not included. I'll show you how it's done, Dad. Split Second, five electronic games in one. New from Parker Brothers. vacation on the high seas. I can see it now. A tropical island with dancing ghouls. <laughs> How are we gonna go on a trip when our blank is empty? Listen to this. Crew wanted for vacation pleasure cruise. Report for duty at Pier 6. Have a great working vacation. Working vacation? That'll solve all our problems. You two need to work and I deserve a vacation. Pier 6 and step on it. If this map is right, we should be just a blow. Look what you've done. Look, Pier 6. This must be the place. Now that's what I call a pleasure ship. Come on, creeps. All aboard. But, Captain, we can't sail without a crew. The gold statues on the sunken galleon are worth millions. We've got to get them before the Coast Guard. Don't give me excuses. Give me men. Your new crew reporting for the working vacation. Vacation? Ah, yes. So you're the new crew. Shove off! Looks like we've shanghaied some creeps. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Now clean this cannon and swab the deck. You hurt the man. Start swabbing. And don't wake me. No wonder they call this the poop deck. It pays to have good health. Blah, blah, blah. Get me out of here! There's somebody in there! Wrong! There's no bloody in there! Blah, blah. Don't worry, nobody! I'll get you out! Star she blow! Blow! Blah, blah! We are here, and the sunken ship's right down there! Yeah! Hey, Captain, well, what do we do next? Get on those diving helmets and get in the water. You're going diving for golden statues. Diving in the water? Isn't that dangerous? You heard me. Put them on! <laughs> now, when you find the statues on the sunken ship, Tie him on this rope, then tug once, and I'll pull you up. Now get moving! There's the ship. Let's go have a look. Look, the statues are inside. Yeah, but how can we get in and get them? No problem. Spare rib, get our underwater seesaw. Right, boss! Whoa! should do anything right. Spirit, no bloody was wrong. You can do something right. <laughs> Gather up those statues. The captain's waiting. <laughs> Don't bother me, King Clap. I'm relaxing. Blot, blot, blot. Yikes! That's what I've been trying to tell you. Thanks for helping, Dingbat. Well, we're all loaded up. Time to give the rope a tug. Bring her in! Timblers, take one more step, and you'll have to face the great Dingbler. Why, you clumsy! I think I made a blue blue. My ship, it's out of control. Damn the mainsail! Oh, oi, Captain! I have a sinking feeling something's wrong. Something wrong? My ship is sinking to the lifeboats! She was just when I was starting to have fun. Now, this is more like it. Fresh air, sunshine, soft breezes. And the shallow water. Blow, blow, blow! Is Stop Thief, a computerized cops and robbers game where an electronic crime scanner gives you clues door. to catch an invisible thief. A broken window. Footsteps. In Stop Thief, when you think you know where the thief is, make the arrest. Come the cops. I think you got him. Nine volt battery not included. Stop Thief, an electronic cops and robbers game from Parker Brothers. Oh, wow, look, what's that? Presenting Crispy Wheat.
Grapes and raisins, an incredible raisin cereal. Flakes are big, crisp whole wheat with just a touch of honey. Hey, this is something else. It's crispy wheats and raisins with lots of plump, chewy raisins. Wow, this is something else. It's crispy wheats and raisins, part of this good, nutritious breakfast. Hey, this is crispy wheats and raisins. And this wonderful... Yes, yes, oh, yum, yum. Later tonight, a legend comes to life when the Berenstain Bears meet Big Paw. Big Paw? In an all-new Thanksgiving musical special. Join me, Fred Flintstone, on the brand-new Flintstone Comedy Show. There'll be plenty of laughs as we kick off a terrific season of fun this Saturday morning on NBC. We now return with the Heathcliff and Dingbat Show. Yeah, yeah. Shut up, that's yours! Yeah, now's my chance to flatten that cat so the neighbors will get blamed. <laughs> Shut up, that's that's that dad that cat! I'll shut you up if I have to throw the kitchen sink at you, too! One flat cat coming up. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, it's you, Spike. Hey, what's this? Wow, I knew my vocalizing would pay off. A genuine gold claim map. Gold? So long, Mutt. I'm off to strike it rich. Oh, yeah? You're just off, because I'm going to strike it rich. <laughs> Tarnation! That loudmouth cat cost me a night's sleep, plus my gold claim map. It's been ten minutes. Spike's timing must be off. <laughs> Spike's right on schedule, thanks to his kleptomaniacal nature, and that my braininess. Why should I search for my gold under this hot sun when Dum Dum will do it for me? Some X marks the spot. The X is hundreds of feet wide. And I gotta find it. Gold before Heathcliff finds me. Sure nice of Spike to dig up my gold for me. Dig? <laughs> this could be the last hole. Oh, take a break, pal. I'll give you a hand. Whoa! So that claim jumping cat's trying to jump his claim, eh? Gimme! Yow! Spike! I thought I recognized his yow. <laughs> One more hole and I'm sure to find my gold. <laughs> Good luck, Cat. But remember, finders keepers, losers weepers. Kind of poetic, uh, but juvenile. I wonder what he's up to now. That fat cat will be flat uh, when this splats him. Uh. Uh, this perfectly balanced rock has got to be uh, easy to unbalance. Uh. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. This'll do it. No. But it's gotta. It will. It will. Um, need some help? No. Uh, if I can't make it drop on you, you can't. Just trying to help. Huh? Oh no! Now it drops. Oh. Whoa. This is where I get off. Oops! Forgot about gravity! Wait, 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 what's going on? Hey! Uh, in people talk, that means scram. You'll ugly up the neighborhood. Eh? <laughs> you weak guy! Struck it rich! Oh, this hunk of gold's worth a fortune! A fortune for me? <laughs> it's mine! All mine! Huh? Obviously, Spike had a mental power failure to try that with me. I'm taking the first train out of here. Full speed ahead. Like they say, Heathcliff, a fool and his gold are soon parted. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, so is what goes up also comes down. Hey! Up and off the daisy! Whoa! What I need, a gold separator, to separate the you-know-who from my gold. 
Now what? Strike that. I don't want to know. You can come out now. <laughs> oh, Spike really went to pieces. Yeah, in more ways than one. But I'll pull myself together. <laughs> now you're gonna get it. Oh, no. Not after all I've been through. No. Mercy, please, no more. It, the gold's all yours. You got me all wrong, pal. For helping me, you're gonna get half of my gold. Partner? Half? Wow! <laughs> Half a fortune, still a fortune. <laughs> you got a partnership, pod, Shank. I am, I am. Some <laughs> partnership. Bah! Stop complaining, partner. This is your part. Mush. Yeah, who's he? Huh? After all these years, give me a cat. The gold claim finally paid off. I'm rich. You're rich. Baloney. Our deal's off. Simmer down, Spike. There's still a way to strike it rich. Oh, yeah? In that case, our deal's back on. It worked before. <clears throat> oh, no, not again! Take that! It's that! It oops! My gold! Oh, brother, what I do for... Gold? Sure, I told you we'd strike it rich again. We? Oui. You mean me. <laughs> hmm. Seems like I've been in this cartoon before. Excuse me whilst I participate in an instant replay. <laughs> Jimmy! No! Oh, yeah? <laughs> where's Merlin? Where did it go? Jimmy's got a play in tic-tac-toe. Now where's Merlin? When last seen it was out with Jack playing blackjack. Where's Merlin now? It's not there. It's out with Billy playing Magic Square. Merlin is a computer with personality. Plays six different games, talks with 20 sounds. Six pen light batteries not included. Where's Merlin now? Better come clean. In the kitchen with Mom playing music machine. Merlin from Parker Brothers. It's Wildfire, an electronic pinball game that's pinball fun for most everyone. Hey, beat that score. Wildfire's three-speed ball of light. Speed it up. Bumps off bumpers, flips off flippers. Flip too fast, you might lose it. Kill. Wildfire keeps score for up to four players. Six pen light batteries not included. Wildfire, it's pinball fun for most everyone. Bonus point. Wildfire from Parker Brothers. And here's where my grandpa hid the secret formula for Kellogg's Sugar Frosted Flakes. Why did he hide it? So nobody would steal it. That's why there are traps everywhere. Wow! The secret formula makes Frosted Flakes a delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. The secret taste of Frosted Flakes makes Tony say... They're good! Tony! Oh. You okay? Yeah. Just gotta learn to keep my trap shut. Incorporated. Nobody here. Yes, ma'am. Maybe sittin's our specialty. We'll be right over. Blaby fitting is our specialty. I don't remember sitting on Blaby's before. Step on it, Dingbat, or we'll be late. <laughs> Are you sure this is the right house? Babysitters at your service, ma'am. Where is the little monster? You're the babysitters? Don't worry, ma'am. We're experienced. Yeah, we were babies ourselves once. Blah, 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 blah. Hurry up, honey. We're late. Well, all right then. But you better take good care of my little Waldo. Feed him, bathe him, change his diapers, put him to bed and keep him out of the cookie jar. And don't break anything. Did you get that? Good. Okay. We'll divide up the babysitting chores evenly. You two creeps take care of the baby. I'll take care of the sitting. Where is the little tide? Uh-oh! Cookie! Yum, yum, yum! Hey, 
worry, little Waldo. We'll save you. Uh-oh. Oh, you come to play with Uncle Nobody. <laughs> I think Nobody's trying to tell us something. You bird brains, clean up this mess before I clobber you. Yes, Bluff. I think I blit off more than I can chew. Mad <gasps> <coughs> Blaby, you're not supposed to eat the cookies. <coughs> Look what you did, you fat brain bully. You made the kid cry. <coughs> <coughs> I know how to make them stop crying. We'll play a game. Whee! I haven't had this much fun since I was a little blow Black in Transylvania! <laughs> faster, no bloody! Faster! Blah, blah, blah. Leave it to me to get all the footwork done. <laughs> Looks like we came in for a squash landing. Ah! Look, you bean-headed Bowser. You made him cry again. I know what to do. Kids love toys. Let's see what's in the toy department. <laughs> How about a nice little rattle? Snake. Ah! <laughs> That's no good. We need a cuddly little blobby doll. <laughs> You two numbwits don't know anything about kids. I've got the perfect toy for him. A sack in the box. Good going, nobody. You stopped the kid from crying. Hey, give me back my phone. I think the little squirt is hungry. This ought to satisfy the little monster. Baby Waldo. Would you like Screamy Flakes or Corn Creepies? <coughs> screamy Flakes, that's my favorite, too. Hold it. We need a blib. Blibs away! Bottoms up. You clumsy ogres, look at the mess you made. Change that baby and make it fast. Anything you say, Bluff. I'll change him into a flash. A change for the bladder, if I do say so myself. Bring that. You bring that baby back here right now. <laughs> what we need here is a lullaby. Are you sing the one my mother used to sing black when I was a baby black? In Transylvania. Me, 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 me. Rock my baby on the crib top. When the moon glows, the werewolves will stalk. When the blah, 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 fade. Now continue with the Heathcliff and Dingbat Show. There was I making my rounds, bothering no one, looking for a little between meal snack, when suddenly I found myself in the clutches of a mad sanitation waker. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
the old slammer was a perfect place to sort out my thoughts. I was quickly sprung, however, and it would be only a short time before I'd be back on the streets. With that rowdy heat flip out of the picture, things are gonna be different on the route. Yeah, things are gonna be a little more intense. If I never see that cat again, it'll be too soon. Heathcliff, he's back! Amazing what people throw away these days. Vengeance was never as sweet as lobster, uh, but it's a close second. Are you having a temper tantrum? Ooh. I'm all busting out in hives. What's happening? You don't look good. Even worse than usual. Come on, let's get to a doctor. Have you ever had this before? Yeah. Well, you got it again. Open wide and say ah. <laughs> Reflex is normal. Roll up your sleeve, please. This won't take long. I have a noon golf game. A bit uptight. But this way, please. Read that sign. I owe you a lot of money. Well, that takes care of my problem. Now, about you. Oh, it's a clear case of mono-unclear heat cliffitis. Very common in this neighborhood. I recommend fresh air, avoid cats, and prompt payment of your doctor bill. Goodbye. I'm off to the golf course. You just need some time away from Heathcliff. What an unpleasant thought. A day without Heathcliff sounds very boring. No more Heathcliff. No more Heathcliff. Did someone take my name in vain? Fishing is the best way to relax. No cat will bother us here. Now for the big finish. Uh, but first, a lunch break. I hate working on an empty stomach. Sorry about the retread. If we're all out of steel belted radials. Wow. Does the Olympic swim team know about this guy? What's with him anyway? He's got the Heathcliff hives. That's what. Oh, yes. The dreaded Heathcliff hives. Uh oh. Now oh, I got him. Let me out of this boat. So long. Don't forget to write. Those two will be recovering for a week. Meanwhile, life goes on. <laughs> Mr. Number One is back on top. <laughs>
Sherry Comedy Show. Hi there, friends. It's Jeffrey. When you come to Toys R Us, you can meet me, along with Gigi and little baby G. And wait till you hear who else you can see. You'll meet the amazing Spider-Man at Toys R Us. The Incredible Hulk will be there, too. You'll see that beautiful crime fighter, Wonder Woman. The dynamic duo of Batman and Robin. And cute little Jeffrey Jr., too. The local newspapers will have time and place. Toys R Us. Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats taste so great, people take sides. Ooh, crunchy wheat. And nicely sweet. Crunchy wheat. And nicely sweet. Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats. Oh, wheat goodness on one side. And frosting on the other. That's what makes the crunchy wheat nicely sweet. Frosted Mini Wheats are part of this nutritious breakfast. Delicious. But people still take sides. Crunchy wheat. <laughs> nicely sweet. Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats. Not everyone can do that. Well, why are you walking around in one paint can? I left the other one at home. Dum dee 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 dum dum dee 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 what have you got there? An old umbrella? Huh? Oh, no. This is a new portable shower. Want to buy it for a quarter? Sure. Oh, well. Let's watch Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Hi, honey. How was your day? What's the matter, dear? That no good cat won't catch mice. Ah! He won't, huh? Uh, oh, 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 uh. Well, I can take care of that. I know just the place to straighten out this good for nothing cat. You call yourselves cats? You scrawny, flabby, sloppy, lazy bums? Well, when we're done teaching you here, you'll be champion mouse catches. I need a volunteer. If you want a volunteer, step forward. Haven't I seen you someplace before? We'll see how you do out on the field, Chowderhead. The next field event is anti-enemy trap deployment. And if you don't make it, Cream Puff, you'll do push-ups till I'm hot and thirsty. Now set out those mouse traps you'll find on that table over there. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The next demonstration is pursuit and capture of the enemy. What? Now get that mouse. Eighteen, eighteen, nineteen. We're gonna try you on perimeter guard. <laughs> 
Now guard that refrigerator! Forty-six! Forty-seven! You know, Twinkle Toes, you are sorely in need of a little PT. Physical training! Get over to that barbell, butter muscles! <laughs> to make good, Bowser Bait. And if you blow this last event, Tuna Teeth, I'll get mad! <laughs> Nobody gets any chow till Nimble Knees finishes the confidence course. Sugar corn pop cereal? Sugar corn pops? Do they think they're, they're good? good? They've got a big, sweet, crunchy corn taste. It's part of this nutritious breakfast. Mmm, these do think they're, they're good. good. Poppy, I like sharing sugar corn pops. Point is, they're so good, I get goosebumps. Ah. Up the air, birthday girl. I'm finally seven. Smack, smack, sugar smack. Give me a smack, and I'll smack you back. Fun to eat those snacks of wheat. Kellogg Sugar Smacks. Kellogg Sugar Smacks, a part of this complete breakfast. What do you call that? Happy birthday. <laughs> Give me a snack, and I'll smack you back. Kellogg Sugar Smacks. You will take them. Let's head for shore, Junior. Sure, Pop. As soon as I have my Kellogg's Frosted Rice. Oh, you mean Frosted Flakes. No, Pop. Frosted Rice. It's a delicious part of this complete breakfast. We're not moving. This crispy rice is frosted so right, I've got to say, Frosted Rice is all right. Oh. Order! Okay, Pop. Anchor's away. Anchor? Kellogg's Frosted Rice. Steady as she goes, son. All right. This is what I call a street scene, mostly because it is a street scene. That's what I call heavy, heavy. A hint for weather watchers. If your thermometer keeps falling, use a stronger nail. Did you know where Columbus stood when he discovered America? On his feet. Let's watch me in my next adventure. Hello, 
folks. I'm going to a disco contest. Whoopee. Welcome to the opening night of the Slipped Disco, folks. And here to dance your hearts away, Giles, is none other than Slick Wolf, heartthrob of millions and star of his own TV show, Dance to Stardom. Well, it looks like you won't have any trouble finding a dance partner for the contest, Slick. Yeah, there's enough of me to go around, Goyles. And here comes another contestant. Oh, no, I was mistaken. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Delivery's in the rear. Quite the opposite, sir. I'm here to get down and boogie. Do, uh, do, uh. Well, well, well Miss School, ah. Uh... Cat meow. Hey, let the poor slob in. I need the laughs. <laughs> uh, let's get the contest rolling. All right, gang. Clear the floor. The dancing is commencing, and Slick is the man to beat. All right. Uh, let's see now. Too thin, too tall, too big, too small. Ah, you're just right. Welcome to stardom, lucky lady. Get lost, creep. I want to dance with him. Oh, this is wonderful. Don't you think I'm cuddly? Oh, I like your disco feet. Oh, wow. Up tight. Do, 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 do. Come on. We'll dance him into the cellar where he belongs. <laughs> Gee, Slick's a hot dancer. This should drop the little jokes out of the contest. Watch my fire! <laughs> Congratulations, Slick. When you're hot, you're hot. Moving right along. The next number is a hot acrobatic disco number. Let's boogie. Just call me Tricky Slicky. Dizzy. Gee, Slick sure is slick at this sort of thing. Don't worry, Droop. We're doing fine, almost. Hey, you're working up a ladder, Droop. Here, cool off a little. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Slick. Isn't Slick a nice person? I like Slick. Whoops! Dum di dum di da da da. Dum di da. Would a hide of glass get down? Why, that little runt! Come on, we'll show him. Mr. Nice Guy, let's get down. Uh oh, folks, this is it. Slick's gonna have to give it his best shot. This is the big one, the solo dance between Disco Slick and Reary Dog. That's Droopy Dog, thank you. Slick isn't about to hand over the king of the disco title to Drippy Dog. Droopy's the name, and dancing's my game. Dum dee do get down, get up, dee dum dee do, and may the best disco -er win, Slick. Now that's what I call a gentleman, and this is what I call the table cobble leg. <laughs> well, this guy's impossible. Time for the hidden springs to king. Bounces back like a real pro. He's out dancing who's it's by leaps and bounds. Who's your little who's it? Droopy is his name. Dum, dee dum, dum, dum. Get down, get down. Yeah, that's right, Drip. You get down, get down. Well, I get up, get up. Oops. Mmm, 
Tutti Fruity Soda. Thanks, Slick. I needed that. Yo, welcome! Oh, no! I think it's time for a break, folks. You know what, folks? I'm happy. <laughs> That's Whisper. Hello there, folks. Uh, that building is tilted. Uh, you fixed it. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! It's a living! Cuckoo! Cuckoo! And if you feel like leaving it up, just watch this next Tom and Jerry cartoon. Hi, good felt no. Hail, good fellows. Charlie, you got a part in the school play. Ah, uh, just a small part. Three words. We just say three words, but with our snap, crackle. Pop, we're a big part of Rice Krispies and a fun part of this nutritious breakfast. It's fun to put snap. Pop into your morning. Hail, good fellows. You've got it. I think you'll be a star. Like a pop star. cereal from Kellogg's can be part of a nutritious breakfast. you can eat for a year. Hmm, how prompt. Come in, Mr. Puss.
Wanna play some pool? Who, me? It's Bank Shot, an electronic pool game. You can queue up and shoot. For a break. Wow! You can play in cushion shots. It went in! Right. With Bank Shot, you can play straight pool, poison pool, and set up trick shots. Tricky! Wanna play some pool? Six pen light batteries not included. Bank Shot, an electronic pool game new from Parker Brothers. Friday, a Peanuts double feature. Snoopy joins the circus and falls in love. But is it the real thing or only puppy love? Find out on the all-new Life is a Circus, Charlie Brown. Then celebrate Halloween with It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Don't miss this fun-filled hour with the Peanuts gang. Friday at 8, 7 Central Mountain. Monsters of the past comes a new generation dedicated to reversing the evil image of their forefathers. Under the leadership of none other than Count Dracula, known as Big D, three teenagers form the do-gooder group, named the Dracula. With special powers, they can transform into super mighty monsters and use their skills against all evildoers, especially the diabolical Dr. Dread and his renegade rascals, Toad, Fly, Mummy Man, and Vampira, a group known as Ogre, the organization of generally rotten enterprises. It's right versus wrong, good over greed, niceness against naughtiness. 
That's the dedication of the terrific trio, Frankie, Howler, and Drac Jr., the Drac Pack. Where's Merlin? Where did it go? Jamie's gotta play a tic-tac-toe. Now where's Merlin? When last he nipples out with Jack playing blackjack. Thirteen. Where's Merlin now? It's not there. It's out with Billy playing magic. Where? Merlin is a computer with personality. Plays six different games, talks with 20 sounds. Six pen light batteries not included. Where's Merlin now? Better come clean. In the kitchen with Mom playing music machine. Merlin from Parker Brothers. Let's head for shore, Junior. Sure, Pop. Soon as I have my Kellogg's Frosted Rice. Oh, you mean Frosted Flakes. No, Pop. Frosted Rice. It's a delicious part of this complete breakfast. We're not moving. This crispy rice is frosted so right, I've got to say, Frosted Rice is all right. Order! Okay, Pop. Anchor's away. Anchor? Kellogg's Frosted Rice. Steady as she goes, son. All right. The fabulous Trojan Dreadnought has reached its destination. Cut the engine, soul. Please, Dr. Dread, can I drive it some more, please? You heard me, Toad. Oh, please, Dr. Dread, can't I? Please, can't I? I said oh. cut! Aye, aye, Doctor, right away. Now, drop the anchor. Aye, aye, Doctor. <laughs> Anchors away! And now to join the others in the laboratory. Come, Toad, hop to it. <laughs> Greetings, OGRE members. I suppose you're wondering why I called you here. <laughs> yes, we are buzzing with excitement. Yeah, what's up? Yes, Doctor, what sinister scheme do you have? I want to demonstrate my latest creation, which will make me the richest villain in the world. The turbites! Turbites, sir. And what do these turbite eggs do, Dr. Dredd? <laughs> I already know. Don't I, Dr. Dredd? Don't I? Oh, yes, Toad. You may help me demonstrate. Turbite! Amazing, fantastic. Diabolically underhanded, Dr. Dredd. That was nothing. <laughs> you got some kind of plan, Dad? Oh, yes, Mommy, I'm glad you asked. I've got prodigious plans for these cute little creatures. Yeah. Diabolically delightful, Dr. Dredd. Yes, but what about the Dread Pack? Uh, what about the Dread Pack? I've got special prodigious plans for them, too. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be late for the monster disco party. It's gonna be great. Hold it. I was just checking Uncle Dracula's invitation. What does Big D have to say, Drac? Well, we're supposed to go in costume. Boy, <laughs> what are we waiting for? Right, the Drac Whack. Wacko! <laughs> your manners, Pat. Remember, we're out to show that this new generation of monsters are dedicated to goodness and niceness. Yeah, instead of rottenness, thanks to your Uncle Dracula. Shouldn't we have checked to see if Big D wanted to go with us? Exactly what I was about to do, Frankie. He's only a push button away. I'll activate the Drac View. 
Rat Pack calling Big D. Rat Pack calling Big D. He must have gone. There's a note. Out to lunch. Signed, Count Dracula. <laughs> yeah, probably getting a quick bite before the disco. <laughs> of course. It is midnight. Guess we'll see him at the party. Was somebody calling me? Oh, interruptions, interruptions. It must be those kids again. Why do they have to keep asking my advice? Do good, I keep telling them. Make up for my badness. I'm tired of being a fright for sore eyes. Now I just like to rest. Vampires have to knock it off once in a while too, you know. and guys are tripping the fright fantastic. Grab on. I am his monster. Hey, what are we waiting for? Let's do, 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 dance. Looks like Howler's got quite an armful. Oh, yeah. Ooh, wow, I mean, I have the stains. Go, Frankie. Oh, uh, sure. Oh, uh, do you? Yep. You know something? You really grow on a guy. Miss Flytrap. Oh, they don't call me a clean vine for nothing, fella. What a glamour gulch. So many gorgeous ghouls to choose from. <laughs> Easy, ladies. There's enough for everybody. Sorry, hey, girls. This one's reserved for me. Haven't we met before? I'm sure I'd remember. I suppose that's true. You're a disco delight, handsome. Let me tell you, Lagoonie Lily, oh, when we dance, sparks fly! Ah, oh, you light up my life! Whoops, oh! Don't overdo it! Ow, oh, I guess she took me seriously. It's not your fault, Howard. She's short circuit because she's a robot. Right, Drac. Uh oh. They're all robots. All robots except me. Vampira. I should have known. Dr. Dredd's Dragon Lady. It was fun while it lasted, boys. But now it's fun, fun, fun of time. Whoa, whoa, what happened? Caught by the old disco in the swamp trap. Complete with phony invitation. Hmm. Smells like ogres behind all of this. Brilliant deduction, my funny friend. Dr. Dredd. Thanks for dropping into my disco drag pack. But there is a slight cover charge for underhanded deeds. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're trapped. Exactly, my bolt neck adult. With you three do-gooders out of the way, I will make my demands for the return of the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower? But no one's taken it. True. Not yet. But watch. Right now, my dredgeable is hovering over Paris, about to pluck the precious prime. Porter, steady, mummy man. Now to hatch our little plot with these evil eggs. Turbites Tower! Those little turbites are right on target. Okay, mummy man, lower the hook. Hook away! <laughs> pull her up! Pull her up! <laughs> ah, delightfully destructive. This is only the beginning for my incredible turbines. Soon all the wonders of the world will be mine. The Statue of Liberty, the Pyramids, Mount Rushmore, the Washington Monument. That's the most rotten, low-down, sneaky... You forgot despicable. And despicable scheme I've ever heard. Flattery will get you nowhere, Drac. I think his rotten scheme means ransom. 
right you are, Wolfie. For five billion dollars apiece, the proceeds going to OGRE. For charitable purposes, of course. Of course, to further the cause of life, liberty, and the pursuit of craftiness. But you must excuse me, I've got a date with a lady in New York, and she's carrying a torch for me. <laughs> Farewell! Oh, that Dr. Dredd sure steams me up. Me too. In fact, vaporize is my next move. And I am howling mad! <laughs> I've already cracked this case, Drek. <laughs> Last one out is a rotten monster. Nice going. It's a clean break. Oh, I don't like to smash things up. Let's cut out. The Drek Pack has to put on its act. Come on. Next stop, New York. Fasten your seatbelts. The Statue of Liberty looks safe. We better change to normal and look around. No sign of Dr. Dredd on the island. Or his turbites. Time for your meal, little baby. Turbite? Statue! <laughs> it's those terrible turbines! Oh no, the old fake baby in the buggy routine. Gosh, look at those the babies eat. Oh, 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 we've got to stop them! That's exactly my plan. Come on, let's go. Hold on, Drak Pack. Why run when you can ride? <laughs> hey, this is kid stuff. And we're really stuffed in. I can't move. Okay, mommy man, let's wrap things up. I'm keeping my little life out. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's being fake. I've got that meddlesome drag pack right where I want them. Now to sink those three goody goodies for good. Hold it steady, fly. <laughs> you don't have to tell me fly. How to fly? <laughs> Here, Dr. Dredd, you can start laying your plans. Turbite! Doc! It's drag whack time. <laughs> but we're stuck too tight. Well? Shake us loose! The shaker, but it's not us! Uh oh, guys! We'll have to switch to Plan C! What's Plan C? I think he means splash in the sea! Oh! Applejack cereal from Kellogg's can be part of a nutritious breakfast. It's Wildfire, an electronic pinball game that's pinball fun for most everyone. Hey, beat that score. Wildfire's three-speed ball of light. Beat it up. Bumps off bumpers, flips off flippers. Flip too fast, you might lose it. Kill. Wildfire keeps score for up to four players. Six pen light batteries not included. Wildfire, it's pinball fun for most everyone. Bonus point! Wildfire from Parker Brothers. It's my turn to operate. Operate? Uh... Butterfingers! It's Operation the Wacky Doctor's Here's Game. Batteries not included. Take out his spirits for $100. <laughs> oh, you'll never do that. Don't touch the side. Uh, here goes his funny bone. It takes a very steady hand. I did it. That's $200 for me. 
May I play? Operation. A Milton Bradley game. <laughs> the Statue of Liberty is mine! Oh, mine! And the track pack is gone for good. Too bad. That track junior was kind of cute. Uh, I mean, for a good guy. We're drifting out the sea. And we're sinking. What we need now is a track whack. But we can't get our hands free, Dred. All it takes is a finger. Now that's easy. Rack pack, whack <laughs> All right, Pack, keep an eye and ear out for that dredgeable. And you, Howley, throw in a nose. <laughs> I've picked up a rotten egg. Get ahead. And it's not just turbines. Look, the dredgeable and the Statue of Liberty. Red will see the three of us. What's our cover? Well, two's a company. And three's a... Oh! The old Operation Bat Blob will allow us to sneak up undetected. What's our position, Fly? <laughs> we are directly over Dread Quarters, Dr. Dread. Prepare for a landing immediately. Can I do it, Dr. Dread? Please, please, may I, may I, may I? I never get to land. Oh, may I? Don't touch me, Toad. You'll give me warts. How revolting. Bad, Toad. Bad, bad, bad. The dredgeable's dropping. Don't lose them. Ah, don't worry. I'll spot them with my bat scope. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> look. The red quarters. Blast a porthole, Howie, so we can all see. <gasps> the dredgeable's going in for a landing. And so are we. Follow him. Easy does it. Careful, fly. We don't want to. Damage the motion, guys. I said gently, you clumsy clog. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dr. Dredd. Can I swat him? Can I swat him, Dr. Dredd? Can I? Can I? Give me that! Thank you, Dr. Dredd. I needed that. This is not a fly swatter, you croaking creep! It's a toad tapper! <laughs> now everyone into Dread Quarters on the double! Now what do we do, Drac? Plan D, guys! We're gonna take her down! Right down the funnel! I just hope that this volcano doesn't sneeze. That's what I call a big hall. Oh, who believe this? Oh, the Eiffel Tower and the Statue of Liberty in Ogre's Red Court. It's a monstrous job, but we're dedicated to uplifting work. Let's go, Pack. And now, our next target, the pyramids. <laughs> What's that noise? That's it, Rack. Keep lifting. Got it, Pack. Someone's in the volcano. Who's in that, Pack? I couldn't have said it better myself. It's the drop pack. How dare those do gooders invade the inner sanctum of Olga? After them. Hoist away, Drag. Good work. Climb aboard so we can cut out. Huh? Cranky, look. Oh, no. The whole older outfit. Oh, unwelcome intruders, eh? Just hanging around. <laughs> well, these will shake you up, eh? Whoa! Get them! Oh no! Glad you guys could drop in. Woo! <laughs> that was a close one! You ninja folks, you missed them! Let's get out of here. Full drag power! Oh, you humiliating! They are looting our loot! Stop, thieves! Fly! Seal the volcano! Fast! I am fighting clean! We're cutting it awfully close! <laughs> See? Safe at last! Not till we get those monuments back! Let's head for home! Hey, they're taking away! I know they're getting away, but so what? I can still steal the pyramids with my four turbines. Read it, read it, read it. But Dr. Dredd, there are only three. Don't contradict me, Toad. Oh, no. There is a turbine missing. Why didn't you tell me, Toad? Bad, Toad. Bad. Read it, 
Search the island, and don't come back until you've found that turbite! Well, we got these monuments away from Dredd, but that won't keep him from stealing something else. Yes, with those turbites, Dredd still has an ace up his sleeve. <laughs> and I've got something up mine. What's that? A muscle? <laughs> a turbite! Right. I hate leaving a place without a souvenir. Good work, Frankie. We'll give Dredd a taste of his own medicine. <laughs> Dr. Dredd, we searched everywhere. The turbite is not on the island. Maybe it swam away? They hate water, you fog-headed frog. If the turbite's not here, maybe it... No, it couldn't be there. Okay, Frankie. It's turbite time. Turbite. Red quarters. It's eating my island. Let's get out of here. Good idea. Let's go. I give the orders here. Yes, Dr. Dredd. Let's go. Stop! I command you, Turbine! Stop! That Turbine must have had some appetite. I can't believe he ate the whole thing. Roll! 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 Why are you stopping, Toad? Oh, look behind us. I thought you said we ate all. Oh, how humiliating being egged on by an egg. Roll faster, roll faster. What? Why? Why? Now that we've defeated Ogre, we can go home and relax. Relax? Uh-oh, it's Big D. How can you relax? Do you adolescent adult heads know what you have done? Sure. We defeated Dr. Dredd. Yes, um... And returned the Statue of Liberty and the Eiffel Tower. Yes, but to the wrong address. Yeah, the Statue of Liberty is in Paris and the Eiffel Tower is in New York. Don't worry, Big D. We'll get it all straight now. Okay, Pac. Plan FI. Operation Fix It. Kids today, I try to help all I can, but they still goof up. That's all the things I get. No! It's a good time for a good time with us. Three Musketeers. Cause there's lots of fluffy who get with us. Three Musketeers. Lots of happy good wine faces. Open and wide. For lots of chocolate so delicious and it's fluffy inside. It's a good time for a good time with us. Three Musketeers. The big chocolate bar that's fluffy inside. Tostitos brand tortilla chips. As a boy, I ran up to school to my uncle Emiliano's bakery. He made the best tortillas in town. I'd help him stir the stone ground corn and taste the hot, fresh tortilla chips. So today when I tell you Tostitos tortilla chips have authentic taste, it's from experience. Light, crispy, delicious. Uncle Emiliano, even you to prove Tostitos, an authentic tortilla taste. There you, I say, there you go, little lady. One roasted Oscar Mayer hot dog. And try a little ketchup with that. Oh, all right. Mustard, then. You look like the mustard type. Didn't relish. Onions? Peanut butter. That's it. <laughs> nope. Oh, it's not it at all. Uh, well, what? I say, just what do you eat your Oscar Mayer hot dog with? Okay, Fingo. And Oscar Mayer wiener by itself or on a bun. We roast them all for flavor. That's why they're lots of fun. Oh, now, uh, why didn't I think of that?
can't forget the night we met. I knew I found the one. We met right here at the candy store. Now every night I'm back to pick up my one and only. Hello, Luscious. Kit Kat. There's a crispy crunch inside every creamy chocolate bite for a taste you can fall in love with. Kit Kat, I love you. Chocolatey crispy Kit Kat, the taste you can fall in love with. This is the Fonz. Listen up. There is some unbelievable action coming your way today on Fonz and the Happy Days Gang. Don't you miss it. Whoa. With the Pottery Craft Potter's Wheel, batteries not included, you can spin pots, mugs, and dishes. Next day, when they're dry, you can decorate them the way you like. They made it. They made it. Hey, that looks great. With Pottery Craft. The Pottery Craft Potter's Wheel. With everything you need to make air-dried pottery. By Gabriel. Saturday at 4, school will never be the same. Jerry Lewis is the nutty professor. Yesterday, in discussing biology, the long legs of the beetle and the wonderful body of the ant. He's got something. And I mean to find out what it is. Jerry Lewis is the Nutty Professor. The Saturday Picture Show at 4 on KPTV 12. Strumming hands and M&M's Chocolate candies Strumming hands and M&M's All hands love M&M's Cause the milk chocolate melts in your mouth Not in your hand There's a rich milk chocolate center Covered with a colorful candy shell Slapping hands and M&M's Clapping hands and M&M's All hands love M&M's Cause the milk chocolate melts in your mouth Not in your hand M&M's Chocolate Candies Okay, please, no more problems. No, Fonzie, no problems at all. I think our next stop is Milwaukee for sure. Milwaukee? All right. I don't believe it. Milwaukee! Can you celebrate a little quieter, Mr. Cool? I think I prefer the trumpet, Rich. I want mean, everybody the window now. Yeah, we're ready to window wow. Yeah, let's give Milwaukee a real 50s welcome. Hey, come on, cool. Hey, we're all excited about going home. I wonder what we're passing over right now. Cavemen? Vikings? Cowboys and Indians? Vampires. Well, according to my calculations, 1957 is only five minutes away. <laughs> hey, Cupcake, you're a little off. We're heading in for a landing already. The sooner the better, Fonz. 
I can smell those cheeseburgers at Arnold's already. Yikes! Hey, what's up, cool? What's up, cool? What is it? I don't see anything. This ain't no time for charades, cool. We're heading home. Milwaukee, we're home. Yikes! What's going on here? Oh, I don't know, Fonz. If this is Milwaukee, it's no neighborhood I've ever seen before. Hey, Richie's right, Cupcake. This hunk of junk's done it to us again. You sure this is Milwaukee? I'm not even sure this is Earth. Well, according to my time band, that's the Castle von Wolfenstein. And this is... Ooh, I didn't like the sound of that door. Then you're really gonna hate where we are, Ralph. Transylvania! Transylvania? Ralph! You'll be okay. It's just that a lifetime of midnight horror movies just caught up with him. There's only one thing worse than Transylvania at sunset. Well, if the sunset's bothering you... And that's Transylvania at night? Oh, oh. oh moon craters! All right, all right, now, everybody cool it. We got no problem here. We'll just hop back into this little time machine and take our chances on another time trip. So, well, uh, I don't, I don't think that's going to be as easy as it sounds, Fonz. It's gone. Oh Cosmic no! Cosmic calamities! Hey, Allah, rush, rush! Uh, Allah, Warren. Any trace of it at all, cool? Good evening. Oh. Cool, are you digging your claws into my leather? Uh-huh. Do I like that? Uh-huh. Then what are we going to do about it? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I am Count Wolfgang von Wolfenstein. A real count? Hey, tell me a count, Ship. You see anything like a big, you know, thing I'm a jig around here anywhere like that? Uh... You are missing something. Things come and go so quickly here in Transylvania. Well, that's what we should do. Go quickly. Easy, Mount Basie. We ain't going nowhere without that time machine, right? You must all stay with me tonight and look for your machine in the morning's climb. Galloping galaxies, a night in a castle. If we live that long, my coach will take you there. Oh, that's very nice of you there, Count Wolfstein. I'm not going anywhere near that castle. As you wish, my friend. You might find a room in the village if you think you would be more comfortable. Well, just don't stand there, cool. Get the door for the lady. Mr. Cool. What are you hanging around out there for? Uh, Fonz, I better stay with Ralph. Somebody's got to protect him from himself. Spoken like a true friend, Rich. Red, you just be very careful, all right? We'll meet you back here in the morning. I hope you know what you're doing, Ralph. Believe me, Rich, you'll thank me for this one day. I, uh... <clears throat> I, uh, I think he said the village was that way. Then what are we waiting for? Hello? Anybody home? Galloway! Are these vampires or werewolves? Oh, ne neither one, ma'am. You see, we have some friends up at the castle and, uh... Vampires! Maybe she thought I was selling something. Castle von Wolfenstein is filled with vampires. I can't say no more. Vampires? vampires? One more thing. Stay away from the castle. Oh, no. Count Wolfenstein's really is a vampire. We're all doomed. If that's true, Fonzie and Cupcake are in real trouble.
Hey, yo, take it easy up there. I feel like a milkshake. How much farther to the castle? Why don't you ask the Count or his driver, Cupcake? Excuse me, Count Wolfenstein! Driver! Shooting stars, there's no driver and no Count. Only a... a bat! A rat? You mean to tell me there's a bat driving us to the castle? Come on, you must be seeing things, Cupcake. Oh, I hope I'm not catching that Martian flu again. Well, here we are, Cuppers, huh? See, maybe what you need is just a good night's rest. <gasps> Creeping Cosmos, who could rest here? You can't judge a castle by its moat. Let's check it out. That drawer bridge is a little slow on a draw, huh? <laughs> oh, looking at standing burgers. I gotta hand it to you, cool. You certainly get action. Now, come on, let's go see what we check in. Cool, step it up. Running, Ramsey. You got good reflexes there, Mr. Cool. Obviously, it's the housekeeper's day off. Whoa, who are you? I am Igor. <laughs> Count Wolfenstein asked me to show you to your rooms. <laughs> this way, this way. Follow Igor. <laughs> No, we don't got much choice. Let's just follow Igor. <laughs> you are quite right, Fonzie. You have no choice at all. <laughs> but, Rich, why do we have to go through the graveyard? Because it's the fastest way to the castle, Ralph. And if we hurry, we can save our friends. But if we wait till sunrise, we can save ourselves. Ralph! Just stay close, and we'll be at the castle before you know it. I just have a bad feeling about this, Rich. Rich! It's that wolf! Uh, 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 maybe, maybe he's just somebody's pet. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think so, Rich. He hasn't got any dog tags. Then let's go! Faster, Ralph! Faster! I'm running as fast as I can! Tell him to go slower! I did it! I'm saved! Here, Rich, let me help you! Yikes! Wrong, Richie! Oh. Oh, thanks, Ralph. That was a close one. No! No! Where are we going, Rich? I don't know, Ralph. This is a new one on me. Now, just get a good night's sleep, Cupcake. We'll be right next door if you need us, all right? Thank you, Fonzie. Good night. <laughs> Good night to you, too, Mr. Cool. Well, you got the clowning, Cool. Let's just hit the hay. Yes. That's better. Suffering Saturn, this isn't much of a room. And what's this? <gasps> A coffin! Leaping liftoff! We meet again, Cupcake! What? What do you want? You, Cupcake! I want you to reign with me over this world of darkness. I'm warning you! Stand back or I'll zap! Bah! What could you do to me? <laughs> Just watch! Oh, 
the night air, how it invigorates me. Cosmic calamities. Trust me, Cupcake. All this can be yours. All of what? The night, my love, the night. Well, uh, gee, thanks. It's very nice, but it's very dark. You do not approve? No, no, it's terrific if you're a bat. That can be arranged. Not too smooth. We meet again. Count von Wolfenstein! I'm losing my patience, Cupcake. The time has come for you to become my bride. This is what I want. <laughs> and I always get what I want. <laughs> Cosmic calamity! First Matchbox Speed Track made racing history with Racer Chase. Then they made headlines with Turbo RPS. But time marches on. Now, Speed Track introduces Slipstream Racing. Slipstream Racing, the first slot set with an automatic lane-changing pace car. With fast driving, you can keep out in front of the pace car so you don't get blocked. With fast thinking, you can force the pace car into your opponent's lane so he's blocked. Slipstream Racing, one small step for Speed Track, one giant step for racing. Shine. Uh, oh boy, I better put this away. <laughs> but for hamburgers and fries, he'll come down anytime. Coming down was fun, but look what's coming up. It's the Ronald McDonald 1981 coloring calendar. Now you can have fun coloring bears green, learn fun animal facts, even make a mobile. It's all at participating McDonald's. Get a 1981 Ronald McDonald coloring calendar for 25 cents while supplies last. Are you ever going to finish brushing your teeth so we could turn in? <laughs> I think you're overdoing it there a bit, cool. <laughs> Are you about done? Yeah. Huh? 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 Yeah. That's good, because tomorrow we got to find that time machine so we can get out of here. What's the hurry, Fonzie? I'm getting to like it here. Oh, come on, Cupcake. How many times I gotta tell you that? You have told me what to do for the last time, Arthur Fonzarelli. <laughs> Cupcake, have you gone batty? Does this answer your question, Fonzie? Ah, uh, one of them there, Count Wolf. And that answers the other. The mirror. I seem to remember vampires don't cast a reflection. Very observant, but too late. <laughs> Your friend is already in my power. Show them, Cupcake. As you wish, Master. Oh, Cupcake, no. I have no choice. Yikes! <laughs> What? What is this? Sometimes the magic works. Sometimes it doesn't. Eh, yeah, mostly it don't. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You got two seconds to zap my leather back there, Cupcake. What? Cosmic calamities! What have I done? This tunnel has got to end somewhere. Unless it's Milwaukee 1957, I don't think I want to know, Rich. Toys for Igor! What's he talking about, Rich? I, uh... I think he's talking about us, Ralph. 
Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Richie, help! No! Oh! Igor's equipment! Oh gee, I'm I'm sorry, Igor, but but it wasn't really my fault. Rich, help me! Pull a switch! Push a button! Call the Marines! Do something! Yeah. Ralph, are you okay? Huh? What happened? Igor knows, Igor knows, but Igor's not telling. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Rich, fast! But what happened to the wolf? Igor will show you! Please, Rich, let's go! <laughs> Holy moly! There's the wolf! Igor's machine works! <laughs> Ralph! Ralph, come on, snap out of it! Ralph, it's me! Remember, Richie? Huh? Your pal? <laughs> we'll talk more about it later. Fonzie! Where are you? Fonzie, I don't know what came over me. Sweet cupcake, everything's gonna be just fine. It appears that I will have to take matters into my own hands. <laughs> careful, careful there, doggo mine. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, don't worry, huh? Come on, the fonts can handle a vampire. I hope the fonts can handle a vampire. <laughs> My best friend, a werewolf. Where can I hide? I guess this will have to do. <laughs> Richie went that way. <laughs> That was a close one. There'll be no escape for you this time, Fonzi. Well, we'll just have to see about that, dear Count. Fonzi? Richie! I got bad news, Fonz. And I'm not sure how to break this to you. Yeah, we know, Rich. The Count is a vampire. Worse, Fonz. <laughs> Ralph is a werewolf. <laughs> Cosmic calamities! So, I see your friend has found Igor's laboratory. <laughs> Ralph, come on now, Ralph. Snap out of it here. It's us. It's your friends. A werewolf's only friend is the full moon. <laughs> yes! Boy, you know, Ralph is going to be so embarrassed when we remind him about this. The full moon, eh? Well, I can do something about that. Be careful, Cupcake. Yes, you can, Cupcake. Just think positive. Take that! <laughs> Where am I? I remember! I remember! All right, the odds are a little more in our favor now, Count Face. But not for long, Fonzie. Not for long! <laughs> what do you suppose he meant by that, Fonz? I suppose we don't stick around here and find out. All right, let's get out of here and find that time machine. Let's go! I still don't understand what's happening. The last thing I remember is... Hey, what is it, puppy? You look like you just saw a... Uh... My foolish friends. Doggy, 
Party for Igor? Easy there, cool. No time for a recount now. There's no place to run, Fonzie. This place is filled with secret doors, but not here. Yeah! Hey, Richie was right. Follow that redhead. Now they have stumbled on a real dead end. <laughs> Oh, no! This is where it all started! And this is where it will all end! <laughs> now, just hold it for a minute. You've stretched my patience far enough here. It's just you and me. As you wish! <laughs> Fonzie, he's cheating! What would you expect from a villain? <laughs> Get him, Master! Get him! <laughs> Oh, co come on, Ralph. Remember Milwaukee, huh? Arnold's Cheeseburgers. Janet Blanchard. Oh, 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 oh. Aha! At least there's hope. Oh, come on, County. You can do better than that. Master, why did you do that to Igor? <laughs> Excellent shot, Bonds. All right, give me a sec here, Rich. Give me a sec. I'll have Ralph back to normal. It's me! It's me again! Ooh, a pet for Igor! A pet for Igor! Hello, pet! Ooh, pet likes Igor. You have tricked me once too often, mortal. It is time this night was over. You know, you got a point there, old cape. Wonder. It's time this night was over. Cool. Pull the rope. Oh no! Sunlight! I cannot stand! Fonzie! The time machine! Yeah, pup, we did it, huh? Hey, all right, cut that out. Jumping Jupiter, that was the strangest invention yet, Fonzie. I mean, we don't have vampires in the 25th century. Well, this is one trip I sure won't forget. Yeah, I don't think Ralph and Mr. Cool are gonna forget either. <laughs> I don't know where I got these fleas. Big Zoom, start playing. Up and down, round and round. You can even hear the zooming sound with Big Zoom, stunt plane. Big Zoom, stunt plane. Big Zoom, stunt plane. Pop in the pilots, wind the handle, and you can make Big Zoom circle on the ground or fly high. Pilot one on pilot two. What crazy stunts you can make them do. With Big Zoom, stunt plane. Big Zoom, stunt plane. Big Zoom, stunt plane. Comes with these two daredevil pilots. By child guidance. For parking my Corvette, the Matchbox Garage, the best you can get. The place I park my horse and my Dodge is right here in the good old Matchbox Garage. There's so much to do at the Matchbox Garage. I'll never get bored with my Model A Ford. Matchbox Super Garage. Any way you set it up, it's the perfect place for all your Matchbox cars. Park in my 57 Chevy. Was never this heavy. This boy is losing his pull. Why did he lose his pull so soon? He didn't fuel up with a good breakfast. Cheerio! Like this good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and yummy Cheerios, which has almost no sugar. When you fuel up in the morning with a Cheerios breakfast, it'll really get you going. Hey! Cheerio! Here's a game about climbing up 
and sliding down. It's called chutes and ladders. You can land on something good, like rescuing a kitten in a tree. Ah, you're going up, up, up the ladder. Or land on break the cookie jar. First one to climb to 100 wins. Chutes and ladders really has its ups and downs, but mostly it's lots of fun. Chutes and ladders is a Milton Bradley game. Feature presentation. can be very nice. If he's with people who love him, but if he's a stray, a dog's life isn't fit for, well, a dog. There are millions of them, and they have a terrible time. This is a tale based on the real-life story of one such stray, a stray named Scruffy. It began in one of these condemned houses, even before she was born. The houses were, ouch, being demolished. Everybody had to move out. But the people who owned our puppy's mother, Duchess, instead of taking her with them, tied her up in the yard. Duchess knew something was wrong. Oh, I hate to leave her. Can't she come with us? I only wish she could. But we're moving to an apartment. They don't allow dogs. That's the moving van. We gotta go. Helen will be here any moment. And don't you worry. She'll love you just the way we do. Oh, dear. Dear Duchess. Goodbye. <laughs> Why am I tied up? They never tied me up before. Oh, I gotta get loose. The window. If I can squeeze through. Duchess? Duchess? I'm Helen, your new mistress. Where are you? Oh, dear, she's broken loose. She can't be in the house. It's boarded up. Duchess! Oh, no use looking. She's gone. Too bad. If only she had called louder. <laughs> Even so, Duchess might not have heard her. She was too upset. They're gone. Everything's gone. Furniture. Everything. Maybe they're upstairs. I forgot. My mistress doesn't allow me up there. Oh, a pain. It must be from all this running around. I... 
No, it's my baby. I'm going to have my baby. My girl. That's the way, baby girl. Oh, I can't wait for my people to get back. Will they be surprised to see you? So the tiny pup came into the world. A stray, like her mother. And right away, Duchess has a problem. You're still hungry. And I'm out of milk. If I don't find food to make more, you'll starve. Duchess rushed out the instant her baby went to sleep. It was a frantic search. I gotta get back fast. If I'm not back when she wakes up, she'll be so frightened. When you're astray, food is hard to find. Empty. And when she did... Yeah! Finally, she got lucky. Food! I smell good food. They gotta give me some for puppy's sake. Hungry, huh? Here, catch. See, if you're that hungry, here's the rest of it. Boy, she eats like a pig. I suppose you want this, too. Okay, okay. Hmm, not even a thank you. Yeah, eat and run. What's all the rush? Here I am, little one. You'll be having lunch in a second. Mm. It was lucky those men gave Duchess plenty to eat because Baby had a big appetite. Soon, she learned how to open her eyes. Then she had to learn how to straighten them out. She showed Mama she could stand. Almost. And she began to talk. Say, Mama, baby. Uh, 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 Mama. Uh, uh, Mama. All the while, Duchess kept her blind faith that her owners would return. But then, one day, a terrible thing happened. We got permission from the fire department to burn this one. It's faster. Okay, start the fire. <laughs> Baby, wake up! We have to get out! Got to get to the kitchen window! <laughs> We're cut off! Upstairs! We're not allowed up there, but... <laughs> it's the only way! Cry, baby. We'll be all right. We will if we find a way out, but we're trapped. The chimney. It goes to the roof. Oh, I could never climb that far. Mama! Mama! There's no other way. I have to. <laughs> Or did that dog come out of that chimney? She's got a pup, Pete. That's the dog we've been feeding. No wonder she ate like a pig. She had to get enough for two. Quick, the bulldozer. 
We've got to save them. They better hurry up. That roof's gonna cave in. Higher! What's that noise? Take you home to Alice. Uh, she'll clean you up in no time. Imagine climbing all the way up a chimney carrying her little one. No wonder her paws got bloody. What's going to happen to them? Well, they could go to the animal shelter. The animal shelter? Ken, the animal shelter can only keep them for seven days. After that, if nobody wants them, they're put to sleep. Killed! Alice, I got a better idea. I rescued them. Why don't we keep them? Mm. Oh, Ken, I'd love that. And so would they. Living with Ken and Alice was easy and pleasant. Duchess no longer had to search frantically for food. And as for the puppy... Mama, what's this? Taste it. You're old enough now. Oh, oh a new kind of milk. When the cold weather set in, she learned that things can change. Like water into ice. She also met an interesting neighbor. Taking a bite out of my tail. I had to slice you to ribbons. Make mixed meat out of you. I'll mobilize you. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a rope. Calling my magnificent tail a rope. Don't you know who I am? Well, you're not a dog. Dog? <laughs> if you were so young, I... <laughs> Did you ever see a dog do this? <laughs> or this? <laughs> or this? Gosh. Yeah, you can say that again. I'm Terry Tomcat. <laughs> That's who I am, Terry Tomcat, the terror, or the... Uh-oh! Mama, did you see? He's gone! Just as well. A growing puppy has to be careful of strangers, especially cats. Dinner! Come and get it! <laughs> Yes, everything seemed fine, but Duchess was only waiting. One day... Come along now. Time for us to leave. Leave? Where are we going? Back to our people. I've only been waiting till you got big enough to travel. But, Mama, it's so nice here. Yes, but I must find our mistress and master. Are they expecting us? They must be. They probably got back right after the fire, and they've been worried about us ever since. Do I have to go? I'm your mother, dear. I know what's best for you. Come on now. Duchess had been barely conscious when Ken drove her and her baby away from the burning house. How could she possibly remember her way back? Uh, that way. It must be that way. But it was not that way. The road she had chosen led deeper and deeper into the country. And to add to their troubles... Mama! Look at this! Snow! It's beginning to snow! Is that good? I'm afraid not. We'd better find shelter. In the morning, everything will be fine.
That looks like fun. Mama won't mind if I play too. I'm a puppy. Wanna play? <laughs> Sheep-killing dogs. I'll fix him. Mama! That was a shot. Mama! Puppy! Puppy! Now oh, there's two of them. Get him. Run, puppy! Run for your life! Something down there. What is it? A drain pipe under the fence. No sign of him. He's gone. We might as well quit. I was sure we had him. Yeah. Too bad. Oh! <laughs> hey, cut the waterworks, Dirly. I'm getting wet. My mama! Yeah, I've seen it. Tough. Those guys are bad news. How can it be? What? That some people are good, but others are so bad? All I can tell you is, that's life. Here, blow. What am I gonna do? You an orphan now? Orphan? You know, alone. You got nobody else? No, only the people who cared for us. I wish Mom and me were still there. Where's there? Back in the city, wherever that is. Well, that's it, right there. But you better wait till dark in case those guys are still looking. Could... could you go with me? Oh, come on. You don't need me. Besides, I'm a country mouse, not a city mouse. You'll get there okay by yourself. Don't you worry. <laughs> Goodbye, Mama. But when she reached the city, she couldn't help but worry. She was so small, and the city was so big. Gosh, it's scary. Why is everybody standing still? It's green, let's go. would say, rest, rest, perturbed spirit. <laughs> Wait, you're not a ghost, are you? You look like a dog I once had. Her name was Scruffy, but you're only a puppy, aren't you? A hungry puppy. Good girl, come on. Food, come on, eat. Stop, poor thing. You're astray, aren't you? 
I, too, am a stray. Joseph P. Tibble's actor. Tragedy, comedy, the classics, you name it. Uh-oh. Tired, eh? And cold. We strays should stick together, right? And I've got a name for you. Scrappy, that's who you are. Scrappy in the second. Good night, little Scrappy. Sleep. So for the first time, instead of just puppy, she had a name, Scruffy. And she had found a master, Joseph P. Tibble's actor. It was love at first sight. Just how good an actor, Scruffy found out the next evening, when her new master took her to watch him perform. Come, Scruffy, me all is waiting. I hope they pay well. We could use the money. Or to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing end them to die, to sleep. You said it, Buster. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. Not a penny yet. I better switch. Maybe I'm not giving enough. Okay, here goes. Now, cracks a noble heart. Goodbye. Sweet friends. That makes me want to howl. I think I will. And flights of angels sing me to my rest. No, no, Scrappy. Hey, that's cute. Throw him some money, Herb. I take it back. Howl your heart out. What dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. Wow. Astounding. More than I ever made before in a whole month. What you are, Scruffy McGirl, is a howling success. <laughs> Tonight we shall have a sumptuous repast to celebrate our new partnership. Tibbles and Scruffy, we can't lose. Can't lose, huh? Hand it over. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. That hat full of money you collected, that's what I'm talking about. And if that pup don't turn off his motor... <laughs> don't play there like a flounder. Come on, after him! Run, Scruffy! We must get away! Run! <laughs> it won't work, Scruffy. They're too fast for us. What we must do is outsmart them. We're in luck. Look, a freight train ready to pull out. Gosh, looks like some kind of monster. Sounds like one, too. Come on, little one. It's our only chance to shake those crooks. We're going right toward him. Golly, I hope he knows what we're doing. Here they are! They're gonna hop that freight! If they do, it's goodbye money. After them, quick! Good! There's one that's open. If we had time to climb up on top of it... We gotta delay them. But how? Sand. Emergency use only. That's what this is! An emergency! Push for me! Hey, what? Whoa! Let's go! You let go! Hey! Quick now. Up we go. Almost up. Scruffy! <laughs> Good girl. Come on. Here we are now. When I tell you, little friend, I want you to bark. Here they come. There's one that's open. How do we know they're in it? That's what we gotta find out, stupid. Bark in here. <laughs> hey, that was the pup. Come on, they gotta be in there. Hurry before they find out how wrong they are. We know you're here. Give up. <laughs> yeah. He did it! He locked them in! 
Open up! Help! Let us out! You get out! Far away from here! <laughs> oh, yes, too far away ever to bother us again. We did it, eh, partner? <laughs> And speaking of partners, how about improving our act? First thing tomorrow, I'm going to start teaching you some tricks. Tricks? What are tricks? Scruffy learned fast. First, she walked on her hind legs. Next, she covered her ears, the better not to hear her master's voice. And when she pretended his acting was killing her, the audience ate it up. The team of Tibbles and Scruffy was a smash hit. No siree, Scruffy. We're a couple of strays now, but not much longer, because soon as we can, we're going to buy a house. A little house, that's what. Just big enough for you and me. And we'll live there forever, 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 and <coughs> <coughs> oh, this dratted cough. <coughs> Can't shake it. And my chest is pain. <coughs> it's hurting. Oh, gosh. <coughs> a tonic. Where's my tonic? A little nip and I'll feel better. <coughs> Scruffy. Scruffy. <coughs> Something's wrong with that man! Call the paramedics! We'll take him to 4th Street Hospital, across the bridge. They're taking him away? No! Did somebody grab this pup? I got her. No! Wait! 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 Wait for me! Master, Joseph Tibbles, died on the way to the hospital. It looked like Scruffy, too, might die. She had fallen from the bridge, and unless she knew how to swim... Sure, in no time. Oh, boy, lucky I saw you. You'd be a goner by now. Oh, thank you. You saved my life. Golly, look where we are. Oh, where's she going now? Hey! This is where we live. My master and me. He was so good. I loved him. He can't be gone. I'm afraid he is, kid. Not kid. Scruffy. He called me Scruffy. He taught me lots of tricks. I was learning a new one. Look. Scruffy, come home with me. No. Your people wouldn't want me around. What people? I'm a stray. A bunch of us live together. Come on. If they had only left a moment sooner before a man named Catlin saw them. A bad man named Catlin. That little one, Caesar. That scruffy Joe Tibble's trick pup. Now that Joe's gone, I can put her to a better use. <laughs> This is it. Ain't much, but it's home. And private, too. 
if people knew there were strays here, we'd end up in the dog pound. Well, here we are. In you go. You okay? Oh, yeah. Who's that? That's Kali. She belongs here. What's she carrying a boot for? Well, she thinks it's her baby. Huh? She had one that died a long time ago. Since then, she's uh, kind of mixed up. How's your puppy? Puppy. <sighs> My puppy. Gosh, the poor thing. Going to be only with mine eyes. <laughs> and I will trip with mine. <laughs> this way, Randy. Only with this. Yeah, I'd be sick, all right, from too much drinking. All right, up you go. And I'll not trip, not trip. <laughs> Randy? Hey, Butch, who's he? What? My mistake. You're a her, not a him. My name's Sam. What's yours? Grumpy. Uh, she's not grown up yet, Sam. Oh, well, in that case, wait a kiddo. Is this all of you, Butch? And who are you to ask? There's no room for another stray. Oot! She stays, Solo. Who brought her here? I did. <laughs> you hungry, Scruff? Yes. I got a bone stashed away. Hardly been gnawed on. Here it is. Just sink your choppers into... Oh, poor kid. It'll keep... You know something, Caesar. Tibbles was small time. A smart operator like me could make more money out of that pup than he ever did. A thousand times more. Sooner or later, she'll be alone. And when she is, I want to know it at once. Stay, Caesar. Watch her. Caesar kept watch, but Scruffy was never alone. She was learning the tough life of a stray. First, Butch was with her. Smells like hamburgers. Open it, quick. It's empty. What do we do now? Keep looking. We don't have a master to hand us food on a platter. A stray's got to hustle for it. Come on. Next, it was Sam showing her the ropes. Sometimes the best goodies are at the bottom. Instead of wasting time digging, just tip it over. Careful with those dinners. They're for the mayor and the staff. Well, you can't win them all. Finally, one night, Caesar's vigilance paid off. When Scruffy went with Butch to <coughs> rescue Randy and take him home. Gosh, he drinks a lot. More than Mr. Tibble. Come on, let's get him. Just one more sip. Come on, Randy. Pull, Scruffy. You can't stop here. Hey, you're crying. I can't help it. He kind of reminds me of Mr. Dibbles. I miss him so much. Butch, you take Randy back to the station wagon. I'll see you later. Where are you going? Back where I lived with him. Under the bridge. Just for a while. Okay, but be careful. I will. Come on, Randy, wake up. Oh, show me the... Here you go. 
I'm tired and right. <laughs> Under the bridge. That's where she's going. I gotta tell my master fast. Under the bridge. <laughs> Get waked up, but I gotta. Maybe if I whisper in his ear. Sensational Diana Ross. I said upside down, you turn me. Rocky Burnett. The Sound Wave Sizzle with Pat Benatar. Let your Prairie League and your main Jackson. Bobby Dupree. Wave. wave after wave with air supply, the spinners and lift sync. Today's biggest hits on Sound Waves in tune with the 80s from KTEL. Available at these and other fine stores. Imagine a gift under your tree that the whole family can play. An Atari video computer system and game cartridges from Meyer and Frank. Now through Christmas, these cartridges and the video game system are specially priced. Easy to hook up and easy to play against a partner or one-on-one -on -one with the computer. Sports games, action games, thinking games, a wide selection to choose from, all specially priced through Christmas. Meyer and Frank, all stores. For everything under the tree. to our story. He's gone. I wish I could bring him back, but all I can do is cry for him. <laughs> there she is. All right now, do it right, and I'll be her new master. Nice and easy now, Caesar. Smile. Scruffy had no idea she wasn't alone. Oh, Mr. Tibbles. She didn't hear a sound until... Well, Scruffy. Here you are at last, little puppy. Caesar, say hello to Scrappy. I mean, hello there. He knows my name. I've been looking for you ever since poor old Joe Tibbles died. And Tibbles, he knew Mr. Tibbles. Why, sure. Uh, they were, they were friends. Scruffy, you're not a stray anymore. I'm going to take care of you. The last thing Joe Tibble said was, look after my little dog, Scruffy. The voice was so warm and friendly, like Tibble's. How could she resist? Scruffy, you're thin as a rail. We'll stop at the supermarket and get you a nice, juicy steak. And while we're there, some cash for me. A lot of cash. Right? 
right, Caesar. <laughs> Meanwhile, Butch had brought Randy back home. <laughs> They were all asleep, except Butch. Scruffy should have been back by now. I gotta see what happened to her. Scruffy, where are you? Not here. Hmm. But she was a couple of minutes ago. And so was a man and a dog, a big dog. Hey, that could be Caesar. If it is him, she's in big trouble. I better track him down fast. All right, that'll be five bucks for the steak. This little dog deserves it. She's a trick dog. You mean for real? Go ahead, Scruffy. Tricks! Gosh, that's neat. Another trick, Scruffy. Good girl. Would you look at that? Right. Keep looking. Keep it up, Scruffy. The trail leads inside. There she is. There's Caesar and the man. Hey, they're crooks. <coughs> Scruffy, they're crooks. While you're doing tricks, they're stealing. They can't do that. <laughs> She took the money! Money? What money? It's gone! Get him, Caesar! Help! My money! He's gaining! Duck! Drop the money and run! There they go! She can't do that to me! Go get her! Bring her back to the house! And don't let that dog stop you! Almost home! Keep going! <laughs> Oh, remember, Scruffy, you can't trust people. They're bad. I've been sent to bring you back. She's not going back. You're gonna stop me? If I have to. No, I haven't had a decent fight in a long time. Better get out of the way. This is gonna be rough. Look out! Yeah, oh. No! 
I won't get out. Butch needs me. <laughs> we gotta save him. Get water. Keep him warm. A blanket. He can have mine. <laughs> It was a long night. Despite all that could be done, Butch got no better. If he just drink some water. Or open his eyes. My mom is gone. And so is my master, Mr. Tibbles. And now, if Butch... She remembered how Joe Tibbles had often stood staring up at the sky. Maybe if she did that too and wished... Don't let him die, please. Scruffy didn't know it, but what she was doing was praying. Hey, he opened his eyes. He's drinking the water. Butch, you're okay. Well, I... Oh, oh, I hurt all over. But what I am most, I'm hungry. How about finding me some food? Collie stayed behind to keep an eye on Butch. But as soon as it was light, the others took off. <laughs> Sam scored first at a bakery. Watch out, it's hot! Randy had to wait till his favorite tavern opened for business. First time you ever turned down a drink. What do you want? <laughs> Food, huh? <laughs> Look at her. Oh, cute. Well, that had to be, of course, Scruffy doing her surprising tricks. <laughs> Boy, great. Here, catch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you're better. Same here, kiddo. But the way Caesar tossed me around, <laughs> I'll be stiff for a month. Caesar? At least we'll never see him again. Oh, God! I spoke too soon. Sam! Everybody! Help! Come on! It's Caesar! Who? Caesar! I chased you off once. You back for more? Wait. One licking was enough. I came to warn you. Oh, yeah? What's this? Another trick of your master's? Catman ain't my master no more. When I didn't bring back Scruffy, he kicked me out. I'm a stray now, just like you. And I've come to warn you to get out. The dog catcher's coming. You're lying. Honest. Catman telephoned. I was outside the window. I heard him. He's right. Look, it's the dog catcher. Hi, quick. The dog catcher. Whatever people called it, animal shelter, animal regulation department, every stray knew what it was. It was the dog catcher. We'll end up in the pound. First, they gotta catch us. Quiet. They know we're here. They will if we panic. Now, don't move. Don't even breathe. That means I'll have to hold my breath. I don't see any strays. Me either. That guy on the phone was so positive. He sure was. A pack of strays in the red car lot, he said. They're a neighborhood nuisance. Go get them, he said. Looks like a false alarm. Yeah. Let's go. Just a second. Gotta tie my shoelace. Huh? <gasps> Hurry up. 
will you? It's gonna rain any minute. Keep your shirt on. It's all styled up. No, Randy, no. There they are. Run for your life! Here's one I can't miss. Come on, they're getting away. Don't stop now. They're gonna catch Solo. There they go. Yeah, and here comes the rain. Ah, we might as well quit. No, head for the truck. Rain or no rain, we'll keep after us. They keep circling. They know we're here someplace. What are we gonna do? If we move, they'll spot us. And if we don't, we could freeze to death. Look, here they come again. Butch, you're our leader. You got an idea? Read ya. Yes. What we do is, we split up. Split up? Hey, I didn't mean we never split up. Butch, we always been together. It's the only way. Otherwise, they're bound to grab some of us at least. This way, we confuse them. They won't know who to follow. Will we ever meet again? Sure. Back here tomorrow. Now, here's the way we'll do it. I'll take the kiddo here. Now, Sam and Wendy, you go... Get ready. Now! What's that? Look! Only two of them. Where's the rest? Never mind. We go with what we've got. We're getting tired. What are we gonna do? In here, Squat. Ooh, that's better. You don't see them, do you? No, but you can't be too careful. Butch, can I ask you something? What's so bad about the dog pound? Huh? Everybody says it's awful. But a lot of dogs find new masters there. Don't they? Sure. And if you don't, you're dead, Scruffy. After seven days, if you're still there, they put you to sleep. Permanently. Oh, gosh. I didn't realize. Butch, it's them! Get back before they see us. Quick, around the corner. They saw us. That car. The window's open. Go, kiddo. Are they still there? They stopped. They're looking around. We're in luck. All we gotta do is keep down out of sight. In luck, yes. But it was bad luck. Neither one noticed when Butch's tail nudged the gear lever, shifting it from park to neutral. We're moving! Oh, great. Right toward the dog catchers. A runaway car! <laughs> so that's where they were. Come on! It's a dead end. We've got them now. What can we do? Get by them, that's why. Maybe I can act mean enough to scare them. Follow me. Peace, Chopper. Be careful. This way, Swampy. Gotcha. Keep running, Scruffy. We'll make it. Scruffy. Oh, no. I got her. Wait! It's the other one! That crazy animal wants to go with us! Pull over! Look at him back there! He sure takes care of that little pup, doesn't he? Better care than a lot of people do. You didn't think I'd leave you, did you? Oh, Butch. As long as we're together, I don't care where they take us. Even if it's the dog pal. Scruffy.
Scruffy hardly slept her first night in the pound. And at dawn, the first thing she saw... Oh, no! That's where they take us to... to... Don't look at it. We ain't gonna die. We're gonna get out of here. That's right, we will. People come every day. Somebody will like us and... and we'll be out. Right, you bet. Nice people. We'll have soft beds. Hamburger every day. And, and if it's a cold night, they'll let us invite our friends, Collie and Randy and Sam. Aye, and then not forget me, Solo. Like you and Butch, first, I got to get out of here, too. When did they get you? This morning, and I'm no the only one. Hello. All of us in the same boat, huh? Yeah, even me. <laughs> I'm scared. Me too. We only have six days left. You're lucky. We're down to five. Each day, the routine was the same. Dogs that were caught were put into that day's cage. That's it. In you go. People don't want them anymore. They kick them out, throw them out of cars, anything. Yeah, that's the thanks they get for being loyal. The days passed quickly, and each day people came in looking for pets. That's when the dogs woke up and put on a show. People! Me! Over here! Me! Take me! Me! Here I am! More scruff! Like this! Mother! <laughs> I'm looking for a pet with a pedigree. Pedigree? What she should do is look into your eyes. That's the way to tell a real dog. What's the matter with you, kiddo? What do you mean? Why didn't you do those tricks of yours? She'd have taken you if you did your tricks. I couldn't. Why not? Because I want to be with you. Not her, with you. Butch, you're all I got. I love you. Oh, yeah, I, I love you too, kiddo. Scruffy and Butch had only one day left when a reporter came to gather material and pictures for a story. He couldn't help noticing the dogs were all quiet. They're all looking at that building. That's where... Right, where we put them to sleep. I could use a shot of that. They know what's happening, huh? They always do. Who's next? Those two? Yes. Tomorrow's their last day. We'll take the big guy first. We'll give the puppy a few extra hours. There's always a chance for a puppy. I hope she doesn't raise a fuss when he goes without her. Come on, old boy. Time to go. No! Take me too! <laughs> Go ahead. Say your goodbyes. Keep your chin up, kiddo. <laughs> I can't let you go. <laughs> it's better this way, Scruff. You're young. You've got your whole life ahead of you. Remember what I said, kiddo. Do your tricks. You'll get a good home. <laughs> oh, Butch. Her last day? 
only you can save her. Hundreds of people are calling. They all want to give Scruffy a home. Maybe some of the other dogs will get a home, too. Hey, you haven't put her friend to sleep yet, have you? The big guy? Come on, old buddy. It was the busiest day the Pound had ever known. Scruffy had no trouble getting a new master. Hello, Scruffy. I'm Michelle. You're coming home with us. <laughs> it's all right, Scruffy. We decided to take him, too. Besides, he's my kind of dog. We want both of us. Suits me. <laughs> It wasn't only Scruffy and Butch who got out. On that special day, every dog in the pound found a master. <laughs> there was another special day, six months later, when Scruffy was named dog of the year, but she couldn't attend the ceremony. She was much too busy with her new family. Yes, that's the story of Scruffy the Stray. It's a true story. There was a real Scruffy, and much of what you saw actually happened. But most strays are not as lucky as Scruffy. There are millions of them, and they have a terrible time. They're abandoned by unfeeling people, hungry, neglected, lost. It shouldn't be that way. Maybe some of us can think of ways to change it. We'll return after these messages. You can't get away with the crunch, cause the crunch always gives you away. Ha! Are you like that, Captain Crunch? In a ball, usually. <laughs> Captain Crunch cereal. It can be part of your nutritious breakfast, too. You can play artist with the picture and paint sets from Captain Crunch cereal. The paints are right on the box. Just dampen your brush and color. Brushes not included. Three different picture and paint sets in all. One on each specially marked box of Captain Crunch cereal. On the next Kids Are People 2, Kiss is here. And Michael Young brings on their newest member, the Fox, then. Every time I ran away, I, I seek shelter. Runaways get some special help and advice. Then, a witch makes an appearance to cast a good spell. And a country jamboree kicks off, with Cheryl Teague bringing you Western fashions. And a kid star of the Grand Old Opry shows everyone some down-home fun. All on the next Kids Are People 2, with host Michael Young. Tomorrow... Hi there, time for Timer, your roving reporter. I'm talking to you from inside a fantastic factory, your digestive system. You know what we build here? You, not out of wood or metal, but out of food. You see, you are what you eat from your head down to your feet. Things like meat and eggs and fish you need to build up muscle tissue. Uh-oh. Hello, appetite control, more protein. We need energy. Playing tennis today, you know. Whoops. All these motors in your body need a lot of fuel to go on, like carbohydrates, fats and proteins, vitamins, and so on. What's left over forms the building blocks you need, indeed, to grow on. Yes, you are what you swallow, so that next time you feel hollow, don't just fill your face with any old kind of treat. This goes for every kid or six-foot athlete. All you really are is what you eat. And now here's the host of the ABC Weekend Special, Michael Young. Good.
Tuesday. Surprise! It's Fonzie's birthday, but before the fun can begin, the party's over. Everybody, Fonz just crashed on his motorcycle. <laughs> Damn. Have Lenny and Squeaky's dreams come true when the Vernon Shirley create some Tuesday night lunacy. It's time. It's time for you to live the loves you've always dreamed of. Do it in a York fur. York has lowered the price of every fur in their collection during York's January sale. York has cut 20, 30, up to 50% off the price of Lynx, Fox, Raccoon, Sable, York's famous mink, and more. It's time to live in a York fur. Come to York Furrier's January sale. Alan Alda, Will Gear, tonight at 1045. We're going hopping, we're going hopping today, where things are popping, 